Yo, what's up guys, this is Wormpal, the coach of the Stavanger Viking Vaults. Uh, today I am bringing you my week 2 battle for season 2 of the GCL. This week we are playing against Canadio Ryan, the coach of the Calgary cast forms. He is also the host of this league, uh, check out his YouTube channel, link to that is in the description. This is the team we are bringing this week. Uh, the six Pokemon I think he will bring are Mega Venusaur, Hoopa Unbound, Celestilla, Terrakion, Sylveon, and Cryogonal. Last week we only got three Pokemon correct, so let's try to do a little better this time. So I'm gonna challenge uh, Ryan and I will cut to when he accepts. Oh, okay, um, let's see, we predicted four Pokemon correct, he did not bring the Terrakion or the Sylveon, uh, and he instead brought the Cresselia and the Rhydon. Um, he does have the Cryogonal, so he does have Hazard Removal, um, and he does have the Rhydon, so I think that's his only hazard setter. Um, so we have to watch out for that. Um, <clears throat> I said in my team builder I was 99% sure I would lead with my Greninja, which is focus sashed and has spikes. Uh, but he does have three Pokemon that are not grounded the Celestila, the Cresselia, and the Cryogonal. So, I don't actually know if spikes will be that important against him. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe I just lead Greninja either way because it has U turn and it's really fast. So, um, mm, I think he would probably lead with maybe the Rhydon to set up rocks or something. And I think Greninja does pretty well against Rhydon. So, I'm just gonna play Greninja. Okay, he goes Celesteela. Mm, that's like the only, only Pokemon I cannot stay in against. Um, so I'm thinking I just U turn out here. Or just hard switch to um, make him like think that I don't have U turn or something. Uh, and he could have Earthquake, so I don't want to switch into my Heatran yet, so maybe I go uh, Rotom here. He he might go for like Leech Seed, which would be very good if I switch Rotom, because it's a Grass type. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, he does have the Earthquake, I knew it. <laughs> uh, so, he did bring his Rhydon. Uh, and I'm choice scarfed, so I'm not sure if I want to lock myself into uh, an electric move. Uh, because if he goes into his Rhydon and I go Volt Switch, I have to switch out and then he knows that I'm scarfed. Uh, but I don't think he would switch in Rhydon against my Rotom, so, I, so I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch, I think. Uh, I calc this earlier and it should do about like 40% yeah it does actually more oh sh weakness policy oh man oh. what is this um since he has weakness policy I think he would probably have like Auto Tomais, I think it's called. The move that raises your speed by two stages. Um, and I think he would outspeed my Rotom at plus two. But what would he go for? I don't think he would go for. Uh, what's it called? Auto Tomais against my Rotom because I'm an electric type. So he would probably like flamethrower. 
Um, I I actually don't know what what I I do against uh, this thing. Um, maybe I go um, Altaria and not Mega Evolve, so he doesn't hit me super effectively with Heavy Slam. Uh, and I also resist his flamethrower, and I can like roar him out, so he loses his um, boosts. Uh, and I don't want to lose my heat trend so early because I think stealth rocks will be pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna go Altaria, I think. Let's see what he goes for flamethrower. Oh yeah, I knew it. Does 27%? Let me calc. And see how much. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna calc that. I don't think he can kill me with anything here. Maybe heavy slam kills. Hope it doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna check. Toria. Um, yes. Heavy slam at plus two. If he's no attacking. Left. If he has no attack EVs, it should do 57 to 67, and I'm at 75, so I should live that. But then my Altaria will be really low, uh, but I can't really do much else, so I'm just going to roar. Oh, Air Slash, please don't flinch. Okay, he didn't flinch me, that's nice. Okay, right on. Um, <clears throat> uh, can he kill me? After I Mega Evolve, I should outspeed him so I could uh, Mega Evolve and Roost. But I'm gonna check uh, and see how much an Earthquake would do. Uh, Mega Altaria against Rhydon. Earthquake should only do like 28 to 34. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and Roost. Uh, let's see. Okay, just sets up rocks. Um, so I need to at some point I need to go into my my uh, tentacruel and spin those rocks away, but not now because he's a ground type and uh, I'm weak to ground. Um, what do I think he would do here? Me. Maybe switch back into Celesteola. But since he didn't go for Heavy Slam, I don't think he has the has Heavy Slam. So I don't know what Celesteola can do against me. So maybe I can just Roost again. Um, I should live any hit from Hoopa if I'm at full, and I can one shot him back with Body Slam. I'm just gonna roost. Oh, okay, he roars me. Hmm. Into my heat trap. Um, he uh, obviously kills me with earthquake here. Now he knows that I'm not shockberry or air balloon since I will reveal the leftovers. So I don't want to stay in, but at the same time, he could just roar me again and I will take even more damage from the rocks um, and I don't think actually let me find out how much damage it takes from a flash cannon 44 to 52 um, um, I think he would just earthquake me here so maybe I should go Rotom. Yeah, I'm gonna go Rotom. Don't roar, please. Okay, yeah, he just earthquakes. Um, he doesn't know that I'm scarfed yet, so um, I could go for a Leaf Storm. Um. Because he's obviously gonna switch out here, probably into the Mega Venusaur. So I could either like 
Maybe I can Volt Switch? Actually. Uh, I would really like to go into the Tentacruel and go for Rapid Spin. Would he really stay in here? He can't... I don't think he can hurt my Pokemon. So... I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna Volt Switch. Oh yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you very much for switching. Uh, maybe this is my uh, opportunity to spin away the rocks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. He could hit me with like Earthquake here. Um, but I think I just have to spin the rocks away now. Yeah, I'm just rapid spin. Um, he stays in. And goes for a knockoff. So maybe he doesn't have Earthquake. Uh, because he had knockoff, I would think he has like a grass type move and a poison type move. And maybe some recovery, either synthesis or a leech seed. So maybe he doesn't have Earthquake. But I'm not gonna risk it yet and I'm not gonna go into my my heat tran. Um or do I? Um, maybe I can go Heatran and uh, if he kills me I go into Dragonite and set up some Dragon Lances. Uh, no, that would be a bad idea. I need to weaken the, the Cresselia first. Um, but nothing really wants to switch into this. How much would the Sludge Bomb do? Or sludge bomb 22 to 26 if he's like specially defensive. I think I'm just gonna sludge bomb and find out. Uh, try to find out what his EV spread is. Actually, maybe I should also calc the knockoff. Knockoff 24 to 29. Oh, he went for energy ball, Sludge Bomb in 22. Yeah, that's pretty specially defensive, I would say. Or, actually, maybe not. Uh, let me see without special defense investment. Uh, no, no, that is specially defensive. Uh, and he goes for energy ball here. And, ah. Uh, I actually really don't think he he would have earthquake. So should I go Heatran here? Yeah, I'm gonna go Heatran. He has synthesis as well, uh, so he only has one move left. And I really think he would bring like sludge bomb to hit my main Altaria. Um, and even if he has Earthquake, I, I should live. So I'm just, just gonna set up my rocks here, I think. Yes, he switches out. Then I believe he does not have Earthquake on his... Uh, what's it called? Dinosaur. Uh, and he switched in his Cresselia. Which I don't understand why he did. Because he can't really. This shouldn't be able to do anything to my Heatran. And I can uh, toxic him. And I miss. Of course, I do. Trick Room! Oh, he's gonna go. Uh, he's gonna go Hoopa. Or so Stila to take the toxic. Uh, 
Ah, that toxic mess is pretty big actually. Let me see how much a fire blast does to his Hoopa. Because I don't want to let that thing switch in for free. Fire blast 39 to 46. Um, but then he would have three turns of Trick Room. He is probably slower than everything on my team. Uh, but I do still have my my Greninja with the Focus Sash, so if I can just maybe sack my Tentacruel or something and then go Greninja, lift the hit because of my Focus Sash and then kill him with U-Turn. So I think that's the plan. Uh, so I think I like Fire Blast here in case he goes Celesteela. He does go Celesteela and please hit. Yes, 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 yes. I think he was predicting me to go for Toxic again. Um, okay, here comes Rhydon. Uh This thing is probably also slower than everything I have. So, maybe he will set his rocks back up. Um, and now my tentacruel is low, so I don't know if I can actually rapid spin again. But um, I think I'm just gonna go rock him still. Yeah, he just sets up his rocks. Until the last time I vault switched, and. I don't think I'm gonna do that again, but at the same time his uh, switch begins into Mega Venusaur is so obvious. Um, so I don't know. Maybe... Oh, I wish I could just like sack something now and just spin those rocks away with Tentacruel. And I wish it was a little bit faster. I'm gonna really storm. No, I'm gonna think. If he goes Mega Venusaur, I think I just switch back into Heatran maybe. Because I think I've confirmed that he does not have Earthquake. Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave storm, I think. He goes Mega Venusaur, of course he does. And I miss the Leaf Storm, of course I do. Um, uh, who does my Tentacruel outspeed his Mega Venusaur? Yeah, I think it does. Um, what would he do here? Sludge Bomb, maybe? Knock off. Um, I I obviously can't switch in my tentacle here because I really need to rapid spin. Uh, and I can't afford to lose it. So I think I just go Heatran. Yeah, I'm going to Heatran. He goes for Sludge Bomb. Okay, so he does not have um, Earthquake. Then I think uh, Rhydon and Hoopa should be the only Pokemon that can actually deal with my my Heatran. Um, so I could predict him to switch into one of those now and go for like a Toxic, which uh, is good against both of those. But <laughs> I would look really stupid if he just stayed in and went for knockoff or something. So I think maybe I'll just fire blast. Yeah. He goes right on. This does 14%. Mm. 
That's probably especially offensive. I'm gonna calc that. Yeah, that's special offensive. Um Do I just go No, I think I think actually it's gonna roar this time because I've switched into my Rotom every single time now. So maybe I should just slash cannon get some damage on this thing. Um But it would really suck if I lost my Heatran. Mm. Actually I think he I think he would roar here so I'm gonna stay in and click flash cannon. I think please roar. Stone edge, okay. Flash cannon did 44%, he's at 30% now, so another flash cannon should kill him. Uh, I don't know if he wants to let his Rhydon die yet. But I think I'm just gonna flash cannon again, honestly. He goes Cresselia. Uh, now he no longer has a steel type, so I'm pretty free to. Just click Toxic again. Um, <clears throat> he might try to set up his Trick Room maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna Toxic. And if he goes Trick Room now, uh, I'm gonna keep using Flash Cannon so that the Rhydon doesn't get the free switch. But it would also be pretty scary if he went Cooper now. Um, because that will not take too much from my flash cam. I'm just gonna flash. Okay, he just moonlights. Stay soon. Uh, wastes a turn of trick room. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he just wanted to see why what I would do. I'm just gonna flash can again, I think. Okay, he goes Dusto Hoopa. 27%. Maybe I will sack my Heatran now. And then go like Altari or something, kill the Hoopa. Since he switched this in uh, on the trick room, he has to be like a slow hooper, which means that after the trick room is gone, I should be able to outspeed him with all of my Pokemon, I think. So I think maybe I sack Heatran here. Or should I keep it? Because it is very useful against the rest of his team. But as I said in the team builder, I do not have a good switch into this thing. Um, what move would he go for here? Like a focus blast, maybe? So I could try to go Altaria. Actually, I think I'm just gonna sack my Heatran. He goes knockoff. Steel. Oh, he had no item and he just stole my leftovers. That was not very nice of you, Hoopa. But if knockoff is the hardest thing he can hit me with, I should be able to live another hit and kill him. Oh! I just barely lived the Hyperspace Fury. Well, that must suck for him. <clears throat> but now I have killed both the Hoopa and the Celestila. Those were the two biggest threats to my team. Uh, and the rest of his Pokemon now are like pretty defensive ones. So I think 
I'm in a pretty good position here. Uh, Heatran dies to, to rocks if I switch it in again, so I'm just gonna let it die here. Use energy ball, okay. Um, uh, let me check how much um, speed investment he would have to run to outspeed my tentacru. I think it's at 212, so if he has 64 speed or more, he should outspeed it. But I don't think he would run more speed than that, so I should be able to spin away the rocks here. Uh, yeah, I just gotta hope he's not fast. Yes, I do get the rapid spin off. And he goes synthesis. I don't think that's the biggest problem actually. Mm. I Should I keep my tentacruel in case he sets up rocks again? Uh, but his. Ride on is really low, so I don't think he will ever get a chance to do that. So I think maybe I just sack my my um, tentacle here and go Dragonite. Maybe start to set up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I will just sack you, Tentacruel. He does kill me. And then now I go Dragonite. Yeah, none of these three Pokemon can do a lot to the Venusaur, so I think Dragonite is like my only option. <clears throat> and the question is how much damage do I do to the Cresselia? At like plus one maybe. At plus one attack. Uh, fly does 47 to 56 percent to him, but I need to to keep the fly power herb fly for the main sword. Uh, I only had 28 to 33 percent, but I think I can also just dragon dance again if he goes Cresselia here. Yeah, he does uh, an Ice Beam from him, does 28 to 34, because I have my my multi-scale. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe if I'm a plus 2, I can kill him with Iron Head after the toxic damage. Let me count that. Plus 2, Iron Head, 37 to 46. He should take 6% from the Toxic, so he will be at 45. Um, no, then it just barely doesn't kill. Also, maybe I can just... Actually, I think I just run here. I don't think he can stop my, my Dragonite from sweeping here. I can also hope for a flinch. Oh, never mind. I I have forgot about Trick Room. Ah. Uh, well, I don't want to lose my Dragonite yet, so I think I have to switch out here into Greninja, maybe, or Altaria. He would, would he stay, yeah he, I think he has to stay in here because he dies to rocks, so he, he would probably go for an Ice Beam or a Moon Blast to hit my Dragonite, both of those also hits the Altaria, but I, I don't actually know how much it would do, Moon Blast 29 to 35, that's actually not too bad, so. I think I just go Altaria here. Oh! Okay, wow. Um, 
Psychium C. Cresselia, wow, um, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, I believe that puts me in range of a sludge bomb from the Megalinosaur. 62 to 74, yeah. Uh, I don't think I need Rotom anymore, so maybe I just sack that. Or I go Dragonite. Because he can't hurt me. Or can he? 15 to 18 uh, before he breaks my focus sash. And he has two more turns of Trick Room then. Um, what other options do I have? I can sack my Rotom and go Greninja and Acrobatics maybe. Yeah, I think that's the way. Just sack Rotom here. Yep, Sludge Bomb does kill. Now I go Greninja. I should leave everything because of the Focus Sash. Um, Wait, did I? No. I'm just gonna acrobatics. Okay, he does break my sash, then I should kill him with this acrobatics. Yes, I do. <laughs> Is that kind of worked out? Mr. Freeze. Yeah, after Trick Room goes down, I think I just win with Dragonite. So I'm. Uh, should I sack my Greninja uh, here, or should I try to preserve Differential? Mm. Both of my other Pokémon are weak to Ice, so I think something would die anyways. So I'm just gonna sack Greninja then. And then I believe uh, I do kill him after a Dragon Dance. So, I think I go Dragon Knight here. Uh, and I do have multi scale, so I should live any attack from him. And then, yeah, 61%. No! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh. Do I lose now? Did I just lose? <sighs> I think I just lost. What is the chance to freeze with uh, freeze dry? Freeze dry. Ten percent chance to freeze. And does my Altaria survive? Freeze dry. Fifty-nine to seventy-one. I am at fifty-three. Uh, I don't think it does. I have to hope he's not max special attack. I think even if he is like no no special Oh wait that is with never melt ice. Uh how much did I do to Dragonite? 61 to 73. He did 61%. So um if he is not never melt ice, it does 50 to 59 percent to my Altaria, so it's a roll. Uh, but do I even kill him back? Maybe. I just have to hope he's not that offensive, and I leave this. 
GG. I lost because of X. <sighs> I mean, I I don't know. I don't know what I could have done differently. Maybe uh, actually, I should have. I should have kept my Greninja because I think Greninja does kill the the Cryogno. Yeah, acrobatics should kill him. So yeah, I I lost because of X. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, Ryan play, played pretty well as well. The trick I did not prepare for the trick room team. <laughs> I think that was a pretty good bring. Yeah, that's it for my week two battle, and I will see you in for uh, my week three battle when we are playing against the Joe's Ice Cream Sewellers. So I will see you then. Goodbye.